Okay, now we got to know uh, burp generally. So let's start going into uh, details and the various tools and uh, modules in burp. So let's start with the procs because that's how, uh, that's the, the, the basic place where you will see uh, the requests and responses going through your proxy. First start with the HTTP history part. As you can see, I also, I already have some traffic uh, through my burp and uh, in this HTTP history, you see more or less everything what goes through your burp. Uh, in the list, you see uh, the host URL, some interesting data like uh, status, length, uh, stuff like that. But more importantly, if you go here to the bottom, this is the uh, second uh, part of the, of the screen, you can see here first the request. This is the, the plain request. And uh, in the other tab, you see the uh, the response. Uh, this is the whole uh, plain text response what you got from the server. Now, this way of printing requests and responses is general through the whole tool. So you will see that in other places as well. So for instance, if, if we come to, to the request here, uh, there is the row uh, tab, which, which shows the row request. You can look at the headers. That's pretty simple. And actually, if we go to, uh, you, we can generate a request for for yourself. So there is the web code. So if you come here to web code slash attack, what we uh, did in the setup section, and you go to start. Oh yeah. So if you come here to access control flow and uh, rule based uh, access control. Then you get this uh, form here. Just write something here, then here, and then click on login. That's going to send the request to to the server, which goes through Burp. Then, oh, a pretty neat trick: if you change the ordering uh, of the request here from decreasing, then you can like follow the incoming requests all the time because always the latest will be on the top. So you will, you will always see as the requests are coming in. It's pretty cool when you're like checking a login uh, flow and uh, you will just you can just follow which requests are sent in which order. That's pretty cool. Also, when the uh, application does like constant communication with the server, then you will constantly see here what's happening. So that's also pretty neat. But what I wanted to show is uh, here's the post request what we sent when we submitted that uh, submitted that form. So now we have a, another tab here called params and here you can see all the parameters which were in that request. So we come to, so there were some parameters in the URL and there was a cookie and there were some parameters in the body. So we, you can see all these things here in this um, comfortable uh, list format. It's uh, nothing special, it's just easier to look at it especially when you have like a lots of parameters and uh, like here you have like 20 different parameters it's pretty difficult to see what are they then you can just come here and then uh, you will understand so then there's the headers tab there's all of the http headers and there's a hexadecimal uh, view as well which i don't really use that much and if you come to the response part it's more or less the same. You can see the row response. You can see the uh, response headers. Uh, you can see an hexa, and uh, there's an HTML uh, view, which shows you uh, without the header, just the HTML, or if it's an XML, you will see here an XML tab, then, then you will see the XML file here. And uh, then it's pretty useful, this render tab, um, that's going to try to render the HTML uh, for you. As you can see, it doesn't look really really good, but what it does is that when you have like huge responses from the row, you have no idea what, which page was that. Then you can just come to the render, and although it's not loading the CSS, it's not going to execute JavaScript, etc., so it, it, it will look bad but you will be still able to recognize which page that was. So it can be really useful if you, you know, you just find the request here 